According to the United Nations, since the outbreak of the novel coronavirus, emerging data and reports from frontliners have confirmed that all types of violence against women and girls, particularly domestic violence, has intensified. This shadow pandemic, the organization noted, is growing amidst the COVID-19 crisis. St. Lucia just over the past weekend recorded two separate incidents of gender-based violence. Minister for Education, Innovation, Gender Relations and Sustainable Development, Honorable Dr. Gil Brigabert, speaking on the issue called for a collective effort to put an end to gender-based violence. She added that the ministry has been doing its part to fight the looming pandemic. Through the Department of Gender Relations and other agencies, the government has made strides in ensuring that there are support mechanisms for victims of rape and other forms of gender-based violence, including the hotline, the 202 hotline. We are an agency that works in collaboration with other agencies, other system ministries, to eliminate gender-based violence. We, in collaboration with other stakeholders, have all intensified efforts at strengthening St. Lucia's response to gender-based violence through, for example, the provision of the Essential Services Program for Women and Girls Subject to Violence, which is evolving very nicely thanks to multiple stakeholder involvement and participation. The Ministry Honourable Dr. Rigabert explained has also done extensive work over the past two years through technical assistance from Sisters for Change through agencies, including the Department of External Affairs and the Ministry of Equity, Social Justice, Local Government and Empowerment, and the Quality Justice Alliance Initiative to strengthen legislation for domestic violence. The process towards the enactment of a very progressive piece of legislation that more broadly defines domestic violence and provides redress for a wider range of victims is currently in an, in an advanced stage of review. A comprehensive public education campaign will follow immediately after the passage of this bill. We are in the process of refining the strategy to end gender-based violence within the context of new gender equality policy and strategy for St. Lucia. The division, along with other stakeholders, through technical support from UN agencies, United Nations agencies such as UN Women and UNFPA, have developed a draft gender-based violence referral pathway for St. Lucia. It is expected that through this mechanism, we can assist other agencies such as NGOs and CSOs who lend support to victims of gender-based violence and to do so more effectively and efficiently. Honorable Dr. Rigobert also indicated due to the assistance of the Canadian government, the government of St. Lucia will be refurbishing the Women's Support Centre. Upon completion, the centre will be able to better meet the needs of victims as an increased capacity is expected, along with the ability to provide psychosocial support to eligible women subject to intimate partner violence and their minor children, to name a few.